We got the warrior here, Paul O'Neill. Paul, dude, thank you so much for hopping on the feed. Are you ready to check out some of your top performing social media posts? Give it a shot, yeah. <laughs> Number one, this is actually a Yes Network social media post, but you went viral with this, man. You managed to knock up oh, yeah. Major League Two. That's the first time I've ever talked to somebody who I never understood a word. He didn't understand a word, but we had a uh, somebody to help us. It was amazing. So you got a lot of play on this. There's about, at the time of this interview, there's about a million views on this one video of you guys talking. I'm impressed with him, not me. <laughs> <laughs> So since he was in uh, Major League Two and Major League Back to the Minors, what would you say are your top three favorite baseball movies of all time? Well, Major League is up there. Uh, I love The Natural because it was kind of from my era, and it was funny because I actually got to play in Double A in the stadium where they oh. filled them in Buffalo. So that brings me and Bull Durham. It was. Uh, I, I, it, Narrowing it down to three's top, but those are the first three that came to my mind. That's a classic. Now, if you were ever in a movie, oh my Pirates of the Caribbean or something, maybe, what do we got? Yeah, this was uh, Halloween and uh, I don't know, many years ago, but uh, the more makeup, the better, I guess. But yeah. Uh, yeah, that was a Halloween picture. Dude, yeah, check out. You got the hair going. You got the you got the fake beard. You can't grow one just yet, or what? what is I don't this? think so. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I think I got too many spots that don't fill in. <laughs> Next one, so I know we're kidding around about movies, but being here in New York, being able to broadcast on Yes Network and be here for all the Yankee games, you meet a lot of legends, and this is one of them, Adam Sandler. No doubt about it. I mean, I grew up watching his movies, and uh, you know, it, it, that's the one thing that does happen with the Yankees. You meet people that you would never have an opportunity to meet, and uh, Adam Sandler, obviously, his genius in movies and what he does, and it looks like we got him in between a word or two or something. <laughs> <laughs> he, he didn't have his best smile on. Now, do you think that you may ever get some sort of cameo in one of his movies? Because we know that Michael K. has. So. You know what? We didn't talk long enough, but I should have brought that up. That's a good point. <laughs> now, if you zoom in on this picture, you got great style. We see the suit right here. But you got the initials on a lot of your shirts, man. You, uh, you're very good with the details and the fashion. I, you know or is what? that somebody else? Who I've got that? kids. You know, they don't want you to get stale. So, yeah. Uh, I guess let's forget the oh, same one, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just in case I forget what my name is, right? <laughs> That's right. So the PAO is your initials. Right, right. All right, next. You actually got a very nice shirt on in this picture with the OBJ, who's awesome in the style department, but also, too, he hit some home runs when he was here, and you got That's a front row the seat. The first thing I was going to say, I was very impressed. Obviously, I was on the field. Uh, you know, he was out there hitting, and I was very impressed because he did. He put a couple in the seats. It wasn't the first time that he swung a bat, no doubt about it. Yeah. Could he have been like a Deion Sanders type player? Uh, he's obviously that I don't know. You have to ask him, and I'm sure he probably thinks he could. All oh, athletes think they could play every sport. Because <laughs> you, you go back to high school and you think, you know, I did it okay in high school, but at this level, it's a little bit different. Oh, I bet. So you still get the opportunity to put the jersey on during Old Timers Day, and uh, your glove, by the way, was sweet, that baby blue glove. Uh -huh. And here you are with uh, your broadcast partner, Michael Kett. Yeah, we had talked about it, and I, and I had always said, that, you know, it, you didn't, didn't play a lot of baseball, but obviously you know baseball, we're going to have a catch out on the field. And, and you know, we, we, we did it. And again, uh, I can't lie, I'm impressed. He didn't, he didn't butcher any of the balls. He caught them all. He let them go. We just, you know, Sunday at the park had a, uh, a little catch here in Yankee Stadium. He did have a pretty good arm, that's for sure. And here he is in the background of this photo of a picture of pizza, which is your favorite? Uh, well, you know, you got to realize I'm from Ohio, so we don't get good meal or pizza. So, yes, that's one thing that's uh, a must every single game up in the booth. What would you say is your go-to order? We see the plain pizza well, right That's here. a plain. I'm a big margarita guy, too. So, margarita pizza, that is. And it's, uh, yeah, that's uh, pizza's pizza. I love it. And record amount of slices that you've had in one sitting. What do you got? No, I don't. I don't do the whole pie. That's just kind of the appetizer. A couple <laughs> slices here and there. But you know what? I do fold it over now. Now that right. I've been so in he's New a York, I've, I've, I've got a folder on I've become hands. A, a pro like the the New Yorkers. I would look like a pro. <laughs> you post a lot of pictures of you golfing, right? Um, but we don't really ever see videos of your swing. You look like you got great form in this picture. But uh, yeah, you're a big time golfer, huh? Well, I mean, it's kind of the natural progression of baseball. You move on to golf because you don't have to run or athletically do much other than hit the ball. But, uh, you know, I enjoy the game. I love the game. My kids play the game now, so uh, it gives us something to do. But uh, believe me, uh, I wish I was better. Yeah, and this guy's Jack. Dude, check, check out those arms, man. What do you do to, to uh, keep in shape? 
Uh, you know what? I, I've always worked out it's, uh, ever since I played, and I continue to do it because my kids are into it. They're into the CrossFit and all those things, which I've kind of backed away from. Yeah. But, uh, uh, you know, you have enough time in the day to, to, to get it all done. Like you said, the natural progression from baseball to golf, you got a hole in one? I did, and the story behind this, believe it or not, it was a disappointing hole in one. Thursday, Friday, the hole in one's worth a million dollars. So I did it on Saturday, and they had taken the million dollars off the hole. And when I got to pick up the ball, the marshal at the thing, this was actually a, a tournament uh, in Las Vegas, said, you want a million dollars? And I'm like, oh my goodness, I couldn't believe it. And they said, oh no, they took it off. No. And actually, Michael Jordan signed a, a flag for me. And I said, you know, that's really nice, but I'd rather have a million dollars. <laughs> Did he cut you your check? No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, you are a fan favorite. People love you, and you like to get out into the stands, especially during the postseason, man. This is a great photo, the selfie. Yeah, I, you know what? The New York fans have always been so nice and great to me that it's uh, when you get an opportunity uh, in it, like in a playoff atmosphere, I mean, there's nothing better because uh, people don't just show up. They come up here to, to have fun and they expect the Yankees to win. Yep. We're coming down the home stretch, the last couple. Also, selfies on the field, too. Here's one with Aaron Judge. Yeah, that's just before batting practice, and it, it does give you a uh, kind of a look. Um, of how big he is. I mean, I look like a little brother there. Uh, so, but you know, anytime we're out there, I mean, this is the time that the players get their work in, but they're a, a lot more relaxed, obviously, than they would be during the game. Yep. And another superstar, Snoop Dogg. Yeah, that was actually the softball game uh, at the All-Star game in Cincinnati. And it was so funny, you know, everybody was waiting. Uh, Snoop Dogg was a little late to the meeting, but uh, I don't know why, but you know, when he showed up, the first thing that came to mind, I couldn't believe how tall he was. I mean, the guy's like six foot seven, and he's an athlete, so yeah. it, it was fun, it was fun. Let's check out these selfie skills right now. All right, so we see all these social media posts. You're very fun. Like you said, you're a family guy. You love your kids. They keep you young. What would you say is your favorite part about social media? Because we do see a lot of the stuff on your Twitter timeline. Well, I mean, how instant thing is, it's amazing and what you can do with it. But you know, the, the funny thing is, instead of me trying to figure it out, I get on the phone and I call my kids. It's a lot easier to get advice from them and get it done than me try to figure it out, <laughs> believe me. So for everybody out there who's not following you just yet, why should everybody follow you and uh, shoot out your handles? I mean, at Twitter, Paul O'Neill, yes. There you go. There you go. Thank you for the help. But uh, you know, again, it, it, it just kind of update things, what's going on in life, and, and mostly during the season and what's going on with the Yankees too. Awesome. Well, Paul O'Neill, dude, thank you so much for hopping on the feed, brother. Appreciate All right, it. Man, take care.